The only road in and out of Tuck, as they call this community, is a nearly 200 kilometer frozen journey along the ocean. For dozens of winters, it has ended isolation, brought fresh groceries and outsiders. But within days, the sea ice and the frozen Mackenzie River will thaw and the road will close forever. Well, it's every year when the ice was gone, everybody just like, it's, it's so lonely, you're isolated, you're, you're stuck again. Merv Grubin's ancestry in Tukta goes back more generations than anyone can remember. But the history of his community and the country is about to change. This is the beginning of a new road, one to be open year round. Crisscrossing the open tundra. It's great for the 150th anniversary of Canada, I think. Indeed, after four years of construction, often running 24 hours a day in frigid weather, frequent storms over what was unexplored terrain, the first road to the Arctic Ocean is now very nearly complete. Just this one bridge remains. When it's finished, Canada will be connected from sea to sea to sea. And for the first time, we're driving the whole way from Inuvik to Tuck with Merv Grubin. You see all the equipment, the people working, and it, it's hard to comprehend that all the work that you did, all the meetings and lobbying, was all, was all for something. It wasn't for nothing. Grubin was the mayor of Tuktoyaktuk when the Harper government agreed to build the $300 million highway. Then we're going to go into 177. Now, Merv co-owns one of the main contractors hauling gravel to finish the road. They're on budget and on time. You see, we're building this road that's connecting Canada from coast to coast to coast. So I don't know much other places in the, in the world that have the connected Arctic Ocean to the Pacific and, and the Atlantic Ocean. Great bragging rights for Canada, but at the cost of big change in Little Tuktoyukta. Just 800 people who now lead a mostly quiet life, largely centered around the land. Whatever comes to the good, also the bad come, meaning more booze might come in, more drugs. These are a pair of polar bear mitts. Eileen Jacobson has her worries, but she makes a living touring visitors around her Arctic community too. And that's what we use for when we're traveling out in the dead of winter. Yeah. Since I was born and raised here, that's what I uh, tell them. A little bit of history about uh, our town. And I also do three hour tours, which is a culture tour. Do a two hour tour of the town, then I bring it to my home. Then I feed them our native food. So we always use- Eileen may be busier than ever soon enough. The Northwest Territories predicts a surge in summer travelers from the South to the Arctic Ocean, an adventure into a foreign land without leaving Canada. <coughs> and there are other local benefits Eileen's looking ahead to as well. Well, the all-weather road, hopefully it'll bring the prices of the heating oil down, the groceries, and then we're not isolated uh, for anybody. Anybody with a vehicle can go on the all-weather road and go, go on a holiday, bring their family out, especially in the summertime when school is out, and then hopefully bring more people in so you could tell them about our community. We're, we're the target date of November. 15. It's a nice idea, but not enough, so says local Tuck's local current local. mayor. The highway was seen as a road to resources, but the federal liberal decision to halt oil exploration in the neighboring Beaufort Sea has left the community wondering. Once the road is finished, where are people going to work? Tourism can't be an alternative, you know, it's, it's just uh, three months a year here. It, it helps, but it's not the answer, and uh, unless uh, you get into mining or something else, it's going to be a very difficult time for people up here. For now, there is still work to be done. While the road snakes across the frozen landscape, it needs one more thick layer of gravel added. The official opening set for mid-November. 
After that, Tuk Tuk Tuk's isolation ends. David Common, CBC News, near Tuk Tuk Tuk.